we got to get to 500 subs. It's the only way I'm committing to a stream schedule. We're at 187. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I'm not much of a streamer, but it seems asking for people to subscribe to your Twitch stream, the way most people encourage their YouTube viewers to subscribe to their channel, is a big no-no. This is most likely due to the fact that subscribing on Twitch costs money, whereas you guys probably know subscribing on YouTube is free, which is actually, it's a great segue for me to tell you guys to subscribe, so let's just go ahead and just, just click, just do that. Getting back to our story, it seems Amanda Cerny, who first found fame on Vine, but has since transitioned onto YouTube, came under fire after she appeared to beg some of her viewers or fans to subscribe to her Twitch stream. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it today on Inform Overload, but first, make sure you guys subscribe to my Twitch stream. It's Bronze Seed 7, I stream like Madden and, and Call of Duty and stuff. I'm just kidding guys. What's going on? I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein. And as always, just a friendly reminder to stick around until the end of this one. We got some comment features that are always a ton of fun. You guys do not want to miss out on. Yeah, I'm wearing a tank top. It's a nice day outside. I want to pretend like I can enjoy my summer. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna wear a tank top all day today inside of the house. It's summer! I love the sun! Aside from her success on Vine, where she had millions of followers, and current success on YouTube, where she has over 2.8 million subscribers, Cerny is also a published model, actor, and has 26 plus million followers on Instagram. Aside from this, she's also a fitness instructor, or at the very least, has her own app where she demonstrates workouts and helps people with their nutrition. Not her personally, but like the app, you get it. As you can clearly see, the 28-year-old is a business in herself and has plenty of streams of revenue. So when she asked her viewers to subscribe to her Twitch stream or she wouldn't stream regularly, well, people were pissed. More specifically, in a short clip that was posted by Twitter user M101News, Cerny could be seen telling the camera, I quote, we gotta get to 500 subs. It's the only way I'm committing to the stream schedule. We're at 187. Like, I don't know what to tell you, end quote. As you can imagine, the clip would get retweeted over 900 times and has been viewed 1.7 million times at the time of this recording. Drama Alert's Keemstar would tweet out the video as well, captioning it, I quote, These clowns are destroying the gaming streaming community. Take the e-bag sh** somewhere else. Add Amanda Cerny, get a real job, peasant. Cerny would reply to Keem tweeting, I quote, Destroying? Peasant? Someone is fishing for attention and subs with these dramatic claims and it's not me. This is part of creating sub goals encouraged by the platform and practiced by most new streamers, especially when followers are demanding a time schedule committed from other successful platforms." End quote. She then clarified her stance, tweeting out, I quote, "...also never said I wouldn't stream. I said I wouldn't commit to a stream schedule yet because I have other platforms and work that demands more of my time, and for me to dedicate to a stream schedule, I need to build an audience first, and will stream when I can in the meantime." Now I won't lie guys. I, I, I can't understand where she's coming from here. It's very easy to cite the fact that she most likely has money due to her other ventures and has such a large following that she shouldn't ask her followers to pay for her Twitch stream. Don't get me wrong, I get that, I get it. But something people tend to forget is being famous doesn't mean you're rich. Now don't get me wrong guys, I'm sure Amanda is doing just fine financially, but to assume that's the case simply because she has a lot of followers isn't right, even though that's what I just did. She also didn't say she was never going to stream, but considering how she can't make a lot of money while she streams, clearly due to the fact that people aren't willing to pay for her streams, led to her coming to the conclusion that unless she has a certain number of paying subscribers, it probably doesn't financially make sense to have a streaming schedule. Of course, in comparison to the average person, Cerny probably has enough money to live a few lifetimes, but now that she is accustomed to a certain lifestyle, she needs to make enough money to maintain that lifestyle. And it appears if she were to start streaming on a regular basis, she would take away from another venture that is clearly benefiting her more financially. Not to say her having a streaming schedule would cause her to go broke, but committing to a five or six hour stream, even twice a week, is still a good amount of time she could be putting elsewhere. And I'm not here trying to defend her, but instead trying to explain things from her point of view. And some people did understand why she said what she said, but for the most part, people seem to have an issue with the clip that went viral. For now, it seems Cerny is going to continue streaming when she wants, and is more focused on her YouTube channel, modeling, and acting career, as well as her fitness. Like I said, she's got a lot going on, so I get why she isn't gonna commit to having a streaming schedule, just because maybe she doesn't want to. Maybe she wants to just keep, you know, making more money and retire young. I don't know, guys. As always, though, I love hearing from you guys. So let me know your thoughts on this one, of course, in the comments down below. Do you think what Cerny did was considered bad or wrong? Or are people just trying to find a reason to hate on someone else's success? Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments down below. But for now, I'm gonna be replying to some comments from the video, Top 10 Celebrities, that got famous for no reason. Bell Forevermore said, Potato King. 
famous for having a potato thrown at him. LOL, love you, Jared. I'm not gonna lie, if that's my thing, if that's what I become like known and famous for, is like that's the guy that got a potato thrown in his face. I'll take that. It could be worse, so no problem. Deborah Dick said, love this channel. Great content. All the presenters are amazing and it has kept me going in this scary time. Lots of love and hugs from Scotland, UK. PS would love a shout out. There is your shout out, Deborah. Thank you. That's all I'm gonna say is thank you. Appreciate you. Again, I'm curious where you guys are all from, so let us know down below. Appreciate you. Hugs back. This is me trying to give a hug to the camera. Give you guys a little hug. Wasn't that so nice? I just give you guys a little hug. Ellie Jane said, recently just subscribed to this channel and OMG, it has cured my lockdown boredom. Thank you for being a source of entertainment for me. Yo, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being a source of um, happiness for me, I guess. I don't know, I read some of these comments and I'm like, yo, like just to clarify guys, the hateful comments, obviously those suck to read sometimes, but the ones like that are just like, yo, you guys cured my board. Like, thank you guys. So we love you guys, we appreciate you. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. And we'll see you guys in the next one.